up, male friends, and welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my own nails. These are some pretty bad bitten nails that I've done. I've been stressed. When I'm stressed out, I pick, I peel, I bite, and it's just a mess. So, do you think we can fix this mess? Let's get started. Okay, I know they're bad. <laughs> I was stressed, so yeah. When I'm stressed out, I pick my nails off so you can see there's ridges from... Sorry, Halo wants out, but he can't leave yet. Uh, there's ridges from me pulling my nails off. And then I pick the skin and bite my nails and they just look horrible. I'm going to use my sanitizer spray for now. Clean up my hands. So I'm going to most likely just do this hand separately. This is my right hand. It's really hard to do. But I'm going to show you guys this hand. Um... But I'll definitely show you guys the end result of this hand because obviously this nail is really short. We want to see how that turns out. I also have glue on my nails, which is making them shiny and look extra bad, but they look bad. I've had a rough time. Okay, I'm going to fix these. So I'm just going to prep these nails. I'm using my cuticle tool from Nail Throne. You're going to hear Halo be crazy in the background because the baby's napping and he gets all weird when he can't be around him. You know. <sighs> So you're going to really want to get good prep done when your nails are this bitten and stuff. Um, because that's really important. Or else they could break or fall off. And then it becomes a vicious cycle of breaking your nails, picking them off, all off, biting them, and then never growing them back. So we're going to try to grow these back. I did go a good five months without biting my nails. I was really happy and they looked amazing. But yeah, then I'm back to square one. But I can fix this again. I'm going to be using a sanding band on a really low speed just to clean up and take the shine off my nail. Um, just to clean up and take the shine off. Yeah, so I have it on a really low speed and I'm just going over and this shouldn't hurt or anything. It's just going to take away that shine. And then I'm going to go around this area. Okay, so I got a bunch of this dry skin too right here from biting. Gonna clean that all up. Again, this is super light speed. Okay, I'm gonna use a dust brush to just dust off some of that dust. So far, just doing that, they already look not good. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Your nails will never, my nails will never look good unless I stop biting them. I'm going to use this bit to clean the cuticle off. So the cuticle is the skin here that's stuck to your nail plate. We want to get that up. Or else your enhancements won't last and stick. And you definitely want that when, they're, when you're a nail biter and they're short. So sometimes I'll go down the one way and then I'll reverse my e-file and go down the other way. Just to get a more accurate and clean cuticle area. I'm going to use a ball bit to smooth my skin in this area over here. And it'll help get any of whatever you missed. This is nice and smooth. Feels really good. See, I got that piece there. And then I'm reversing here to get this piece here. We want this nice and smooth so that our application 
super clean. We want our application super, super clean. Because of our short bitten nails, we need these to be really nice, really well prepped. And that's how they look now. And then I'm just going to lint free wipe, get all the dust Oops. before moving forward. These nails are going to be really short, but I am going to apply tips. I'm going to use the clear stiletto tips. Before I apply any um, dehydrator or primer or anything, your tips will stick better if you don't have anything on um, your nails, like primer. <laughs> I'm going to use my effortless glue. Okay, I don't, I really want this really low on the nail. Like, you don't want to cover up a lot of the nail. You want your natural nail to get as much acrylic as possible. So make sure the tip is just at the very, very, very free edge of your natural nail. I would never wear nails this long if they were bitten this short. Okay, so we're gonna shorten these a lot. I want these to be like my natural nails. Like, I just want to fix these and make them not so, not so short and bitten and gross. I'm gonna file them into this like short natural shape. carefully and kind of blend <laughs> it's really hard to shape these on camera I just don't want to break them okay just trust the process they look a little crazy they'll look better when they're done because I will shape them properly. I just don't like shaping um, when they're not fully secure with product it just feels so freaking weird to me can't do it um, I'm going to use my Dapa Dish and some Hema Free Monomer. Um, and I'm just going to be using Peacher Ball Cover because I'm going to decorate the nails with like a gel design, gel polish design. Um, and I scared the baby's going to wake up, you know? <laughs> I don't want to be like not done my nails, at least one hand. And then have them wake up and then have these flimsy ass nails that I could break. Okay, so we have to have primer and dehydrator. I'm using glitter bells, obviously. <laughs> okay. This should be f f like fairly easy. Um, since I'm just doing the one color and it's on my easy hand for now. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna pick up a bead. Make sure it's not like dripping, but it's not dry. I'm gonna stick it down, it's not at my cuticle area and then I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm gonna push this into place you can kind of let that set and that's how you know you, your beads like good and movable because it's not bleeding into the sidewalls it's just kind of sitting there slowly movable I'm gonna, my room's cold, so I'm just gonna actually do that on the nails and then build up an apex after. Put 
placing the product and making sure my finger is bent down and not flat because you want gravity to pull the prop pull it downward and not into your sidewalls or anything because that's just messy and also acrylic doesn't stick to skin so then you would have lifting where your skin is that's why you want to remove cuticle on the nail plate cuticle skin because it just won't stick to that nothing sticks to skin like gel acrylic and glue it will not really stick to skin it will come up so even if you glue press-ons you have to remove that cuticle because it won't stick and remember, this really is going to be weird shaped until I actually shape this. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys like the finished design. <laughs> it looks so weird with the bitten nails and everything and the shape until it's all done. Check out this uneven mess. Okay, let's add some, uh, <laughs> let's add a, uh, What's it called? Uh, apex to this. <laughs> like I said, it's about the end result. Of course they're gonna look bad. The shape is weird. Plus they're bitten like insane. Just wait until they're done. Since these are short, it's not like you're adding a big apex. You're basically just trying to even this nail out and have a small apex. Just for strength. Boop, boop, boop. It's crazy. I'm like doing nails and my baby could wake up at any minute and ruin my nails. Oh, I hear my dog barking. Might wake up the baby. Goody. Look at this chunky mess. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna file my thumb and then I'll file the rest of them. And you guys just wait, you'll see. When my nails are really short like this, I do like to file um, by hand, just a little easier. Uh, and then I would use an e-file like around my cuticle area, maybe. So that's what I'm just gonna do. Just gonna use my metal file board. Sorry, my husband decided to cut the grass with the perfect timing. And <laughs> Yeah, anyways, I'm using a metal file board with the refills, and I'm just gonna shape under. You wanna get rid of this, like, thick piece of um, nail tip under there. And you wanna thin out the sides and the cuticle area. And everything I do is really gentle. And I'm kinda switching between the eight, 180 and the 100 but down at the tip. We want these to be really short because remember how bitten these are. Okay, see, and now it's, you know, a lot more like a natural nail, nice and thin, with like structure and strength. And see, now they don't look so bad anymore when they got that shaping done. Now they just kind of look like my natural nails. So much better. I feel like I don't want to go much further than this right now because Teddy's gonna wake up. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start on my other hand and then come back when Teddy goes down for his next nap or whatever. Hey, 
Guys, I'm back. Teddy is back napping. I am going to add <clears throat> flakes and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use Glitter Bells Mardi Gras for my glittery base. Pretty, right? And then I'm just going to do like really, I want this to be really glittery and flaky. Okay, so I'm going to do some glitter balls, loose glitter, sea gem, and gecko, and then a bunch of flakes. These are going to be really sparkly. I cut my finger on my other hand pretty bad. So, yeah, ouch. So I'll only be taking picture of this hand. I'm going to use a palette to put some um, clear gel on, just so I can pick up some of my glitter and stuff. So this is how that turned out. I'm actually going to cleanse these again. Make sure they're really clean and cleansed before adding my gel. Pretty. <clears throat> and I, I'm going to start on my thumb. I'm gonna, the reason I like sparkly stuff like this just easier to get around the cuticle and stuff when you're doing your own nails. Plus, I don't like have that much time, you know? I don't have that much time, you know? I don't know how I turned my lamp on. Oh, my hair did it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a ton of time because the baby's napping and like who knows how long he'll nap for. I definitely want to have nice nails for Mother's Day. I'm just gonna cure my thumb separately because I don't wanna accidentally bump it. sparkly okay so I'm just gonna add a little bit of gel just randomly and then I'm gonna pick up like flakes and glitter and push it in oh my gosh so pretty shoot I'm supposed to learn not to say that anymore sorry guys is really neat. Oh, I love, I love, love, love. It's so pretty. Sea gem green is super um, sparkly. I love green. The fun thing about stuff like this is it's gonna look different on every single nail. Sometimes you just want some super sparkly nails, you know?
Okay. Ugh, glitter is so fun. This glitter is so nice. I don't want any of these super big pieces. I just want um, these smaller kind of pieces for that. Okay, I like to add some of these two on top after that. They're just little flakies, more like see-through. Okay, cool. I can't wait to top coat these and stuff, so we're gonna do that. I love top coating. Top coat the thumb separately, and then <clears throat> do these ones just so we don't get any shifting of product because that's the worst that happened to my client the other day the product shifted on one of her nails and I was just it drove me nuts I had to fix it before she left <laughs> ignore the mess Okay, so I'm going to remove the tacky layer and then I'm gonna buff any kind of sticking up pieces because these are flakes on top and then retop coat like that. Guess that was what the set would look like if it was matte. That'd be pretty too. Okay, and here is the finished result. Can you guys believe my nails went from that to this. From that freaking mess to this. <laughs> Anyways, that feels better. Ugh, so much better. I like all the glitter and sparkles. Super simple and easy set to do. Well, designed to do, not set. I mean, obviously biting your nails makes it harder, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. Good for my Mother's Day design, and I definitely want to do matching toes um, for myself as well. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun doing these nails. It is Mother's Day today, so I'm going to post this video for you guys and enjoy my day off with my son. So I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day and make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.